In this video, I'm going to be explaining why I'm investing £1,000 a month into my YouTube channel. So, if you've been watching for the past few weeks, maybe not from the beginning of the channel, you'll realise that my approach is very to the point and my videos are very short. The reason for that is that I'm building the channel that I would want to find if I was searching for new information about investing or about health and fitness, about longevity or about Tesla. And I get sick of when people use tricks and try to make very long videos that are complicated. Um, I want just the facts, I want the information. And that's my idea with this channel, is to cut through the BS and get to the point. Um, so why am I investing money into my YouTube channel? How exactly am I investing that money? Well, YouTube, the, the potential opportunity with YouTube is quite big. And I've always known this right from the beginning. Once you get to critical mass, let's say tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people, if not millions of people, the amount of leverage you can have, because these channels that are at this kind of scale are getting a lot of views. So it's roughly 10 to 20% of those subscribers are the viewers. 80 to 90% are not even subscribed. So your, your potential reach is roughly five to 10 times your subscriber base. So let's just say you get to 500,000 subscribers your potential reach is 5 million people. That can actually have, not only is that a very scalable business, but that can have a huge um, influence actually on the world. And if you have these worldviews that you think are important, it's your duty to get them out there. So there is a very, it's, it's high leverage, basically. I got this from Naval, but it's a very high leverage point. So whether that's for business or for spreading influence about certain ideas, it's very powerful. So that's really cool. Um, that's also one thing I love about that is it's completely independent. I don't need anyone, I don't need a team, I don't need anything, I can do it all myself. And then if you look at the financial side, the businesses that you can build out of that, if you're a software engineer like me, are enormous. Now. Um, I've studied a lot of channels for a very long time and I see a gap in the market and it is for what I am providing, which is cutting through the BS and helping people discern between what is BS and what is fact, what matters and what doesn't. So many people overcomplicate things and sometimes on purpose. And for me, I would... I would want a channel that would be honest with me and would not have any ulterior motive and would be completely um, straight up about what their intentions are instead of trying to keep you on a video just to increase the watch time, which increases the reach on the recommendation algorithm. I believe that if you are authentic and you have high quality content, the algorithm will take care of itself. You don't, that doesn't need to be your focus, but you do need people to come through the door. So here comes back to my point about why I'm investing money. All of the money I'm spending is not on editing. It is purely on thumbnails. This thumbnail you see behind me, these are the same thumbnails that are produced for Dave Lee's channel. Um, if you're not subscribed to Dave Lee, I'd be surprised because I cover Tesla content and he's one of the biggest Tesla YouTubers out there. I view, I view Dave as the pinnacle in the Tesla area because he he does a similar thing, um, but he's very decent. He has no ulterior motives, he's, he, motives. he's not selling other things. Um, very decent guy, and he's one of my customers actually, and one of my software products. Um, so that's quite cool. Um, yeah, so these thumbnails are important because, you probably can't see the focus here because it's probably bled out, but these thumbnails are what bring people through the door. They, they bring people to the channel. As such, um, they need to be eye-catching. And as much as I want to try to do it, I can't, I'm not good enough at producing these thumbnails. And there is a question of value of time. Now, if I work as a software engineer and I'm working for a company, my time is roughly worth 
in dollars roughly 50 to 100 dollars per hour or in pounds roughly 60 to 80 pounds per hour so if that's my market value cost now let's scale that up when i'm working on my own businesses that have huge leverage so that's software that's youtube that's different things that potential number per hour of my time could be 10 times that amount um, I remember Naval talking about when he's working on tech companies, he views his time worth $5,000 per hour, which is an extreme example, but it really is the case when things work. So if that is the case, and it's going to cost me per thumbnail, let's say $20, and I'm doing two videos per day, and that's $40 a day, roughly in pounds, say it's a thousand pounds, it's roughly $1,500 per month, I'll be spending, if I'm doing two YouTube videos a day for a month. Yeah, okay, that's a lot of money to invest. But you have to remember that YouTube is an asset. It's an asset that works for you, much like a piece of software works for you in a data center running, serving your customers, or how some capital deployed into a stock or into an index that's compounding at 10 to 20% per year. That is also an asset. And the beautiful thing about YouTube is once monetization is turned on, it is a asset that is genuinely producing cash flow and you're not having to do any work for that. Now you are investing into the asset by producing new content. But to be honest, once you've got free time like I have now, it's not that hard, it's actually kind of fun. And you get to work through your ideas, you get to test things, you get to um, work through new ideas and problems you have. It makes you accountable. There's a lot of benefits I see for myself. So for me, it's a, it's only a value add for me. So I'm just producing what is interesting to me, what I like, um, what I think could be valuable to other people. And then if it scales up, it's going to be very profitable. Now, one thing that I don't like that a lot of channels do is sponsorships. Sponsorships is great for monetization, but it's not really good for building assets because when you're doing sponsorships, you're really just working for other people. But if you build your own businesses that are that receive their mm. new leads, their new customers from your YouTube channel, you own the entire ecosystem. But when you do in sponsorships, you're just getting paid cash. You're not really building equity and all wealth is in equity, it's not in cash. So I would rather just be building equity. So my view is that I'll pretty much just promote my stuff and I'll build more stuff that's useful for the people watching my channel. And obviously the value add should be that whatever they pay for, for whatever I provide, it has to be a minimum of 10X return uh, 10x ROI. Obviously, I want more than that. I want 100x or 1000x, for example, something like Learn to Code. So it's a, ve it's a very fair value exchange. That's how capitalism works deep down, is that whatever you pay, you should be receiving back way more value than you pay. That's the whole premise. What a lot of people don't talk about. <laughs> That's the whole point of capital markets. That's how it works. So that's my trade with you. And at the moment, I don't have anything monetized. I don't have any ads. I don't have any paid for products I'm promoting to you. My learn to code program is completely free and I'm building it with you as I'm, I'm putting out new versions and I'm receiving feedback. And then once the full version is built, I'll delete it off YouTube and I'll put it behind a paywall. But the trade of value will be so extreme. If you pay $50 a month uh, for say six months, right? but you get a job that's $100,000 a year. Are you, <laughs> what is that ROI? I can't even calculate that. So that's the kind of thing, right? And, and that's why, as Elon always talks about, focus on the value of the product. Because once the product is so extremely valuable, and I've had this with other ideas, selling it is easy. There is no trade. You don't need to do any manipulative marketing or tricks. You just put it in front of people and people will buy it because the value will be so extreme. It's the same as the iPhone. It's the same as 
the best selling products in the world. Yes, they use marketing and stuff, but they don't need to. These products are viral by definition because they're so great. Look at Tesla, it doesn't spend a penny on advertising, uh, but it has way more demand than it has available supply for probably the next 20 years. So you focus on the product. Anyway, that's the reason why I'm investing £1,000, $1,500 a month into my YouTube channel because it's an asset and I'm investing in assets. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one.